Thank you, Grant. More Heartland school districts fall victim to the growing wave of social media threats. You can add both Cape and Jackson to that list. Ahmad Lathan continues following the story for us. He is live in the studio with the very latest. Ahmad. Jeff and Kathy, leaders in the Cape Girardeau district, kept schools open today, saying students go through weapon detection and are safer being held in the building. Earlier this afternoon, they announced school resource officers found no credible threat against any Cape school. Over in Jackson, district leaders received a social media threat la last night and decided earlier this morning to close all schools and cancel sporting events. I spoke with Lieutenant Eric Brown with the Missouri State Highway Patrol about the growing number of threats here in Missouri and across the country. If you see, if you see what you believe is a school threat on social media, Brown encourages you to reach out to the state school safety threat reporting system Courage to report. Concerned citizen, uh, when you see those posts uh, flowing through social media, whatever platform it may be, uh, to make those reports, uh, contact Courage to report, uh, contact your school district, your local law enforcement agency. Uh, but please don't repost those uh, those threats and those videos that could be on Snapchat or TikTok, wherever it may be. Uh, send those to the appropriate authorities to be investigated and verified, checked on. Uh, by reposting it, it just can cause confusion and cause panic and alarm. Lieutenant Brown tells me some of the threats are school specific, while others are more general and offer no information or context. Coming up tonight at six, I'll have much more from Jackson about the decision to cancel school after receiving one of those threats. Jeff and Kathy, back to you.